Hey, what is up everybody? Jumping here, and today I'm back on some Dragon Age 2. In our last episode, it was really sad, but my mama died! <gasps> I mean, it really sucked. It was super creepy. Some evil-ass blood mage chopped off her fucking head and reattached it to another person's body. Like, it... Ugh. Anyway, I actually need to level up, so I guess I'll level up real quick. I'm going to go for a 36 dexterity and a 51 cunning. I don't know where I want to put my ability point because I'm pretty much done with assassin. Uh, maybe I can go for mark death, but it's not really important. I'm definitely done with shadow. I don't care about decoy. Let's see. I'm done with the speed, so I don't need that. I think I'm going to go ahead and go for a pinning shot. Why not? It's not a bad ability, so... I'll go ahead and work on that next. Alright, so let's go ahead and put that back on. I used to have it on and I took it off because I got rid of it. Alright, I think that that looks about right. Okay, let's go ahead and come down here now. I noticed I had a new quest inside job. I'm pretty sure that is for the bone pit. Let's talk to this dwarf. Take your shit. Yours, let's check off well, let's check this out. There might be some stuff I can buy. Nothing there. Check this shop. You got anything, bro? Yes. I don't know who that was for, but that was a piece of armor for somebody. Let's see. Oh, what does that do? Uh, some of these aren't too bad, but I don't feel like spending the gold. Okay, I actually need to make my way out to the bone pit because I'm pretty sure this quest does not take you to the actual bone pit. You need to go there, though, because... If you remember that side quest, Forbidden Knowledge, I think we have to find one of those books at the Bone Pit. And there's actually other side quests you can do there. So keep that in mind. Uh, you know, you don't have to do them. And there's one about, like, oh, you gotta get some pickaxes. Do not do that, because you gotta, like, pay money for that. And I've been complaining about this, but I'm a partner with this guy. I'm supposed to be getting, like, half, you know, like, half of uh, all the mine's revenue. But I don't get shit. Give me my motherfucking money, you know what I'm saying? You got my letter. You've been gone a while. I thought you had things under control. I told you I would handle this, and I did. Now, after a year of raids on our shipments, I finally caught one of the culprits. One of our miners, Sabine, has been leaking information. Do you know him? He claims to be from your hometown in Ferelden. I would like you to get this festering saw to divulge who is behind the thefts. When you are ready, I will bring Sabine to you. Who is this man? I would not expect you to recall every piss pot from your past. I don't remember Sabine. He must be from the outlying farms. Well, he brags to his fellows that he grew up with you in Luthering. Bring Sabine back to my place. Excellent idea. I will get him now. Alright, so we can beat the information out of him. Or we can be nice. I don't know which one I'm gonna do. Hmm. Here is the dung pile I caught leaking next week's shipment schedule. He won't tell me who he's working with. Who else has been screwing <clears throat> me over? Tell me, you ratting mongrel. I wish I didn't have to do this, but lives are on the line. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Hare, please, don't hurt me. I knew you since you was young and loathering. I knew your mum's family and your pop. Mike, you got him rest. Pathetic. <laughs> I leave this bastard in your capable hands. Get me when he's ready to talk. I beg you, Miss Hare, don't hit me again. Us Lothering folk should stick together. What made you betray your employer? Before the blight, my family had a good life in Lothering. Clean home, fertile land, friends. In Kirkwall, we lived in a hovel. People spit on us, and some days we went hungry. Lothering's dead and burnt. You'll share the same fate if you don't start talking. Yes, Monsieur. Please don't hit me. 
As soon as I tell Hubert what he wants to know, he'll kill me or throw me in prison. My life's not worth much but my family. I only wanted to give my wife and son a better life. Uh... I'll make sure your family is taken care of. I'm humbled by that offer. Thank you. I hid some gold in the bone pit. I'll mark it on your map. I'll regret stealing from someone like you, so please, take it back. Hawk, this is Lily of the Coterie. Given the importance of stopping the cargo robberies, I have enlisted a... Consultant. Consultant? Sure. Whatever helps you sleep at night. Well, Doug. Are you ready to bark now? I just want it to be over. There's an ambush. Planned tonight at Dietrich Crossing. Tonight? That leaves you barely enough time to intercept them. You had best leave immediately. We'll protect your precious shipment. But make sure you have the Coterie's payment. Want me to deal with this runt? Free of charge. I'll drop him in a ditch on our way out. Yes, take him. With my blessing. I assume my partner will not object. A public showing of mercy will be good for morale. Let him go. But he's a Pharrell. A criminal. Nobody will care what happens to him. Think about it. Sabine turned to crime for two reasons. He's desperate, and he bears no love for you. Spare him publicly, and you'll earn some loyalty from the miners. I see your point. Very well. For the sake of morale, I will spare this dog. Oh, thank you, Miss Hayes. I know I don't deserve it, but thank you. We're wasting time. If you find naught but corpses at the ambush, it won't be my fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so I guess they're going to immediately load us to where this ambush is taking place. And we'll deal with it. We're too late Here we go! Guys. Oh, actually, I should probably level everyone up before I do this. Alright, we'll start with Varric. I'm going to go for some... Uh, I hate going for Dex. You know, one thing about Varric, you don't need to worry about equipping him with any weapons because he always has his same weapon. But the critical chance is nice because he's not like Hawk where he has a lot of critical chance. 23% is not bad, but it's not that good. And his critical damage isn't all that great either. All right, I'll go for a little dexterity, though. I want the critical chance. Let's see what else I can get. Hmm. Everything looks fine right now. I'll go for the pinning shot. For Anders, we'll go a little bit of constitution, a little bit of the magic. Let's see what else we can get. I might actually go for Fireball. Yeah, I'm going to go for Fireball. And I should set that up too, you know, for when they're clustered. I'm going to go for Constitution with Meryl. And I, I do want to go for, I don't know, maybe Firestorm? But huh, this is dangerous. You will get wrecked if you're not careful. Okay, but I'm going to go for Fireball. Let's set up uh, Anders with... Uh, fireball make sure he actually uses it so we're gonna do enemy then we're gonna do clustered with at least two enemies use ability fireball push this up a little bit to the top uh, I'm gonna put it a little bit down there that's fine all right now let's go ahead and do this ah oh, bring it on bitches only have two potions oh no use our abilities oh now we're gonna wreck Good thing is that that chick's going to help distract the enemies, and of course the dog is going to distract as well. But with my DPS team, I am wrecking them. Just racking up so much damage on them right now. Just die, all of you. Just die. Ugh. Assassinate one of them. Yeah, there we go. See the fireball going off over there? That's the beauty of using a team like this. When you stay at range... It's great because Anders and Meryl can use their fireballs, and it's not really going to affect us. Although, it can screw us if they charge us, and then one of them fireballs. You know, that might literally kill your whole fucking team, so you got to be careful about that. That was almost too easy. Wait, I recognize that lout. 
Who is he? He's in the coterie. One of that damned fool Bracker's men. So your organization is behind this? We got explicit orders not to. Hubert's been good on his payments. If Brecker ordered this, the rest of his life will be very short and painful. Tell me about this man. He operates out of the south side. Always had more balls than sense. His lackeys are loyal. Brecker must be involved. Whoever is behind this will pay. The next idiot will think twice before crossing me. Understood. I know who to lean on to get answers. Find me in the Undercity. Alright, so now we gotta go to Darktown, basically. And we can talk to her. Let's loot all these bodies, though. There's a whole bunch of them. I think I'm gonna make a quick stop at the Bone Pit. Just to do the Forbidden Knowledge quest. I don't think I'm gonna even bother with the side quest there. I might do them on my own time, but I probably won't record it. Just because it's not really important. Nothing too serious. Alright, let's go ahead and leave. But I do want to record the Forbidden Knowledge thing, because while I'm at Darktown, I think I can actually complete that quest. And that quest is a pain in the ass. It really is. The final fight is kind of hard, but hopefully we won't have too much trouble. Alright. Now you definitely want to come here, because I'm pretty sure there's going to be a couple ingredients here as well. So keep that in mind. Remember, if you're going to do these side quests, go for it, but the problem is do not do the final one about uh, pick up some pickaxes for these miners. You have to pay like money for them, and you don't really get anything out of it. I'm sure you get a little bit of experience, but it's not yeah. worth the money. Alright, so let's go ahead and loot everything. Yeah, all you got to do is talk to these fools, because they're refusing to work, because they're lazy and they're cowards. And I think the first one is... Oh no, there's giant spiders! Ew, there's spiders in the cave! Clear them out! You go and do that, and then you come back, and eventually it's going to be, Oh no, there's zombies in the cave! Oh! So you have to go and do that as well. And then the final one is, Oh no, we don't have good tools! <laughs> Get by us new tools! Stupid, like, Argh. Alright, now, the Forbidden Knowledge thing, I think it's not over here. Just checking this out, though. Grab all the stuff. I'm pretty sure you gotta run up here to do it. So, it's on the right. Alright, and it's really easy. Like, this is one of the easier ones. It's a very small little cave. I don't think they throw anything too hard at you. Maybe, like, a Desire Demon or something. And those things are easy to kill. We'll see though, maybe I'm wrong, maybe it, will, maybe it will be a pain in the ass, and maybe I'll get wrecked. I don't know yet. Now if you guys are wondering about my Dark Souls series, I haven't uploaded it in like two days. And the reason for that is because I'm about to fight Gravelord Nito, and the problem is that I'm really afraid of fighting him. So right now I'm trying to like work out a way to get a co-op partner to help me out, because I definitely want to do that fight in co-op. Now, maybe I will do that later. I could probably go and do Seif the Scaleless. I have a feeling I could probably do that. But right now, Nito, I don't see myself beating him right away. So we'll see. Alright. Definitely grab that. That's an ingredient. And here's some bones. And let's do this. So remember, you gotta destroy this book. And yep, now we get to fight. Bring it on, bitches. Alright, get the doggy out. Right, get him! Let's get him! Die all of y'all! Okay. Yeah, I think this is an easy one. It's just a desire demon and some skeletons. That's not really nothing too important. Die, bitch! One more skeleton, and now we can focus down the demon. Die, demon! Damn. Man, I'm... I'm I'm hitting for a lot of damage now. I think my assassinate there uh, did about 5,400 damage. That's quite a bit. Around the end of the game, though, I know that I start to hit for over 10,000. Or really, I should say over 9,000. Or wait, it's over 9,000. Ah! I don't know. I'm I'm no good at that joke. Don't make fun of me. Urgh. Okay, so let's come up here and grab. 
Oh, here we go. Another ingredient. See, coming here is definitely worth it. You don't want to miss out on the, getting those. So you do want to come to the bone pit at least to get the ingredients. Alrighty. Now, you know, now that I think about it, I guess if you mess up with Forbidden Knowledge, I'm not too sure if you can get into that cave. So if you messed up with that quest and you don't have it, then you might not be able to get all the ingredients. That would suck. Alright, but let's get the hell out of here. And I guess we'll go to Dark Town and continue with this quest inside job. Alright guys, so now we are at Dark Town. All we have to do is run over here and unfortunately, something bad happened. Oh, Lily died. Don't let them get away. You coterie, one of Lily's friends. Lily was one of ours. She was working for you and now she's dead. You get one chance. Did you kill her? Hmm. Um, yeah, I killed her. What's it to you? Lily died as she lived, in the gutter. And now you louts will join her. You wouldn't do that. The Coterie would avenge me. Not if there aren't any witnesses. <laughs> nah, 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 cold-blooded. <laughs> All right, come on. Put on our shit. Die, bitch. Ugh. Assassinate. All right, good. Get out my face. Unfortunately, yeah, they're pretty close, but I don't know if you can talk your way out of that. I don't remember ever not having to fight these fools. Maybe you could if you can. You know, there's no persuade option in this game now that I think about it. All right, but over here is the evil pit, which is for that forbidden knowledge quest. So let's go ahead and do this first, and then we'll do the inside job place. Ah, oh, man, I hate this place. It's, uh, it's a bitch. I do remember one thing. Oh, Master Traps. Hey, 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 yeah, a lot of XP for that. <gasps> oh, no. Alright, I hate those bastards. Aw, oh, petrify on them is not a good idea because they have so much defense already. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, you bastard throwing rocks. Ah. Oh. Just die already, you stupid stone golem. Alrighty. Let's go in here. Definitely gonna be some bad guys. Yep. Everybody run! Run away! Uh, get through the door. Get the doggy out. Alright, let's run a little bit further back. Use that ability. And now, as they come through the door, they're gonna get roasted. All right, led to yeah haste. That's what I'm talking about. Pinpoint strikes. <clears throat> Alrighty. Now one of these I actually did not show. Um, there's one that's at Sundermount. It's uh one of the things for forbidden knowledge. I didn't show it because I was I was attempting to record it, and oh boy, I got so freaking wrecked. It was a joke. Like I was just dying and dying and dying. I just gave up on it, and then I eventually left, like, I think that's when I actually went ahead and I respect. I bought this bow, went back there just to try it out for shits and giggles, and I beat it, like, really easily, so I was like, okay, whatever. And then, yeah, I just, I, you know, the whole thing would have took me a while to actually record, and I just felt like it was going to be uh, a waste of time, you know, just like the bone pit. Oh, shit! Oh, no! Arcane Horror. Arcane Horror. No! No, no, no! No, 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 no! Hey, back up, everybody! Ah! Yeah! Gotta kill that fucking whore! Kill the whore! Assassinate! Woo! That was a close one. Yeah, that could have ended a lot worse for me. Oh, man. Okay. Like I was saying, but there was one... I, oh, yeah, and by the way, the one at Sundermount, besides this one, this one's pretty bad, too, but the one at Sundermount is probably the hardest one. So uh, keep that in mind. Like, that place is a bitch. Now, there is a merchant there, though, a somewhat unique merchant. I think later, oh, my, holy crap, there's another horror. All right, uh, ah, fuck, man. That's that stu- no, hawk, no! <laughs> Everybody run. Come on, Anders. You can do it. Revive Hawk. Revive Hawk. 
<laughs> when Hawk dies, it's like the end of the fucking world for me, man. Alright, kill that bastard. Kill that stupid archer. Kill him. Alright. Yeah. Alright, good. Oh, thank you for petrifying that bastard. Alright, so hopefully, I think we're good. Just kill him. And Hawk is back up. Alright, use an injury kit. I need to throw on speed again. Where is that at? Here we go. Wait, is that speed? Yeah, that's speed. Alright, let's go ahead and loot all these bodies, though. Get my injury kit. I really hate that, guys. I, I cannot stand that. Like, you know what I'm saying? You use something like a potion or an injury kit, and then the second you loot, you get it right back. Like, dumb. They should just let you have as many as possible. Who cares? Alright. I mean, they put the timer on there. See, in Origins, there was no timer on your potions. So, I mean, if you had, like, 200 potions... You were good on Nightmare, because you could just chug the potions. In fact, that was a strategy, because in uh, Origins, you didn't really need mages like you do in this game. You're like In this game, if you're going to play Nightmare, you need Anders. Like, Anders is super crucial. But in Origins, you could use, uh, I don't know, rogues, uh, you know, tanks, everything like that, because anytime someone was about to die, you just use a potion, and you could just craft potions like crazy. So, All right, so here's the final book. What I recommend to do for this one is to read it. Now remember, the other ones we destroyed, but this one we are going to read. And I don't know if this is a glitch, but when you read the book, the enemies will still spawn. And because the enemies will spawn, we can kill them and still get the reward, really, which is just, uh, I think, like a staff. All right, and reading this, I can't remember what it does. Yeah, set the book steal. I think it basically just gives you like a, a level. Maybe it gives you some attributes. I don't know. But let's run away. Okay, see, that desire demon is technically a... Let's keep running. That desire demon is like a super boss. So, yeah. But this is the strategy I always would use. You just run into this hallway. And yeah, this works really well. Because they all have to come after you. And yeah, we can just murder them as they come for us. The the biggest danger is that rage demon. That and in fact, I, the one reason why this fight is hard, I would say, is because there's a lot. Of, it's not just one rage demon. There's a lot of them. I mean, it's it's ridiculous how many there actually are. Uh, all right, we have two rage demons down so far. Let's mark a death that lady, and now we just gonna take her out. Now, the, the Desire Demon is the one that will drop the staff that we want. Holy crap, what happened to Hawk? But I'm pretty sure there's going to be reinforcements when we go in that room. It's probably going to be more Rage Demons. Alright, but let's let, the, let's let the battle be over. And also, let's check out our levels. Okay, so all you get is attribute points, but I'll take it. Throw it into Cunning. Back out of that. And now let's go ahead and loot this dead body oh yeah there's the staff okay I don't remember who I was gonna give that to Let's see maybe him what is it it's a fire staff so that's really cool I mean yeah look at that that is really freaking good oh man yeah okay I'm gonna let Anders have that alright here we go here's some more enemies and as you can tell there's already another rage demon there Oh, it looks like they're fighting the dog. So we can kind of stay here. No, no, they weren't fighting the dog. I was tripping. Come on, everybody, run! Run away! Same strategy. No! Meryl. Same strategy as before. We're going to run away and then fight him over here. I'm going to go to Meryl and make sure she runs back. And yeah, we're going to do this! Alright, let's go back to Hawk now, though. All right, use that thing again. Hopefully this way. Oh, damn it! I wasn't able to get that rage demon. Hopefully this way. Um. Oh, uh, never mind. I was gonna say they wouldn't attack me, but they did come after me still. All right, come on, use your assassinate. All right. Oh man, that dog is such a pimp. Oh, Anders, what are you doing? Not Anders. I mean Varric. Look at Varric up there, just being a an artard. No, he got away. Darn it. Oh, okay, that's not a rage demon. That's one of those night guys. But I'm pretty sure that's the end of the fight there. There might be more. You know what? I think there is more. We'll have to see. All right, let's check it out. 
But yeah, as you can tell, there's there's a that fight. If you try to fight that fight in this room, yeah, there's something else here. It's just an abomination. Whatever. Fuck you. Die. All right. And look, now we can loot some treasure. Hell yeah, get some money and some shit to sell. That's what's up. So let's get all the treasures. And now we can leave, so. Anyway, but yeah, if you uh, try to fight that fight in that little room, that's the problem. Now, I think one of the hardest, most people would say the hardest boss battle in this game is between the high dragon, maybe that boss at the end of Act 1. That guy is a pain in the ass, though, I have to be honest, because the only reason why that guy is hard is like the giant rock golem. He's hard because it's so early in the game. That's the problem. Like, you know, the high, like, for example, the high dragon, I never found him to be that hard because it's so late in the game. By the time you fight him, you might have everything, like, you know, you might be godly. So it's going to be a lot easier if you have been playing the game and you've been setting up right. Now, I would say, though, the hardest fight, in my opinion, there's another fight just like that one. But it's, uh, it's in Act 3... And you have to collect like certain codexes or something. They're like scrolls. And then when you fight that guy, he's like a demon. And you're in this room where there's a ton of shades and there's a ton of rage demons. And holy freaking shit is hard because it's just a square room. That's it. That's the only place you can move around. So it's just nonstop. Move your party here. Move your party there. And then you have to worry about the big boss killing you but the real danger is the rage demons and the shades ha ah, and the only way to actually do that fight like and, and beat it is oh varic you are uh, oh nice dodge bro what is everybody doing ah okay whatever anyway the only way to beat that fight is to kill all the demons first so you have to kill the shades and the demons once they're dead then the fight's easy but the problem is is that you know, you might rage. I remember the first time I, I ever fought that battle, it took me so many attempts, and I was just so frustrated. My buddy was uh, at my house, and he was like, watch me play, and he was just laughing his, he was laughing his ass off, because I don't really rage all that often at games. I think I talked about that um, in my uh, Dark Souls video, because in, in my recent Dark Souls videos, I've been raging quite a bit, but yeah, that's because it's, it's pretty frustrating, um... But anyway, uh, like I was saying, I generally don't rage! <laughs> Holy fuck! Yeah, I generally don't rage, and uh, I remember raging quite a bit on that fight. It was, that was a pain. Alright, come on, you bastard. Die! Yeah, fuck up the mage! Die, mage! Alright, let's deal with the... Oh, okay, there's a rogue there. Come on, get him! Get him! Yeah, got him! Pretty sure there's a trap over there, too, so we need to get that trap. Yeah, this party is really working out for me well. Here we go. Got the trap. I'm definitely digging it. I like this setup with the Varric and Hawk and the two mages. It's just the amount of damage really makes up for it. Yeah, rogues are just so good. And I, I really hope that that trend will continue in Dragon Age 3. Because I have always enjoyed playing a rogue in Dragon Age. Like... When I first started, I always start off as the Warriors. I don't know why. And more than likely in Dragon Age 3, I'm going to start as a Warrior. I just, I, I love the Warriors too, but the Rogues are just like my favorite. There's no question about it. It's like, it's like the difference of, uh, in like Mass Effect of playing as, I don't know, a soldier or an infiltrator. Like I always chose the infiltrator. Even in Mass Effect 1, I love the infiltrator. And, uh, you know, soldier was fun, but the infiltrator all day, baby. So let's, uh finish this up now you must be Brecker and you're that lice covered refugee hope you enjoyed saying that now if Those I remember right words you'll ever this speak. fight is kind of a pain in the ass uh, there's I think there's a couple different assassins in this fight the boss guy himself, I believe, is an assassin, so keep that in mind. But we can be really cheap and run like hell, although they're already on our tail, so 
Let's let's run all the way to the bottom. Everybody run! Run, run, run! All right, let's get the dog out now. And who's... Okay, someone was trailing behind there, but... Oh, yeah, it's Meryl. Meryl's always so slow. All right, but yeah, bring it on, bitch! Yeah, there's a lot of rogues, as you can tell. Yeah. Oh, I should not have done that. Whatever, though. All right, yeah, die, rogue. Oh, damn, fuck them up. Ah, dumbass, going for the dog. Messing with us is suicide. Okay, and by looting him, we just got what some um some boots. And I'm sure the, those are for um. I'll check them out. Let me see. Pretty sure that they have to be. Oh no! What? I hate that. Like, what's the what the fuck? Like that guy is clearly an assassin. You know, he's a he's a fucking rogue. But yet he drops some boots that are meant for a warrior? Like, what the hell? And the other problem is is that those boots would probably be garbage no matter what. Holy shit! <laughs> oh, wow. What the fuck? That was crazy. I walked, turned the corner and the dude stabbed me in the face. Alright. Whatever. Give me my stuff. All right, let's come back. There's probably going to be more. Yeah, there's more. There's always more. All right, die, bitches. Oh, shit, another assassin. Damn it. I didn't want to do that, but whatever. Pretty sure that should be the last one. Yes, it was. All right, so that quest is basically over. I don't remember if we actually have to go talk to that guy about this or not. We'll see. I think it's over, though. Let's open this bad boy up. Got a ring. All set. Okay, let's see. Okay, yeah, it, it. We have to talk to this dude. All right, so that's what I'll do. I'll talk to this guy, and there's another like stupid quest, I guess, one of the fetch quests that I can turn in while I'm here, just to get some more experience. Now, in our next episode, I don't know what we're gonna be doing exactly. Uh, we might be continuing with the main quest. We might be doing some more side quests. You know, who knows? All right, I'll just talk to this fool. I found the thieves responsible for the cargo theft. I put them out of business. Excellent. With that resolved, the mine's profits will soar. For now, partner, please be sure to visit our workers occasionally. You have a knack for keeping them happy. <laughs>